unzipping the girl. There was a horrible parasite on her back. But not only were people not frightened, they were proud of it. This is the secret of the longevity of the island nation. 30 years ago, a group of archaeologists found a fossil in Mount Fuji. They cracked it open and found a strange fossilized worm inside. After scientific research, it was discovered. This species was an ancient parasite called Soma. If it had lived in humans, it would have extended their life expectancy. The life expectancy mark of 144 years was passed. So the island nation went to great lengths to clone this creature. But Soma is extremely valuable. In order for the island to rise, they had to allocate their limited resources wisely. So they created a class of high quality humans. The class must have an IQ of over 150 and not a single flaw in their physical appearance. They put Soma in this group of children where they not only had to study a demanding curriculum, there is absolutely no freedom of marriage. Marriage had to be assigned by the organization. Love is bullshit here. For the future of humanity and the rise of the island, they must choose their spouses based on the merits of their DNA. Anna was disgusted by this life. She feels like she's living like the walking dead. Her whole life was controlled by that disgusting worm. So in order to fight against the manipulation of her life, she and her best friend Sophie formed an anti-soma group. They agreed to escape together when we had the chance. But she never expected that her best friend would betray her. That night Sophie made her move early. She she secretly sends a love letter to the guy she loves, asking to escape together. But the love letter didn't arrive. She was caught by the teachers themselves. The next day Anna finds Sophie's seat empty, and the teacher used it as a warning to all of you. Don't get any ideas. The next day Anna visits Sophie in the infirmary, and learns that Sophie has been writing reviews every day. She was also taking a lot of medication. Anna couldn't understand why. Sophie was not sick. Why did she have to take pills? Many days later. Anna saw Sophie again, but now she looked numb and her eyes were empty, a body with no soul at all. It turned out that these people would brainwash. They brainwashed disobedient children. They turned them into puppets who only obey orders. When Anna realized this, she was overwhelmed by terror. She decided to leave this hellhole immediately. She tore the sheets into strips of cloth and tied them together, put a pin through it. Then she throws the sheet over the water pipe above her head and stands on a stool. Then she sticks the pin in the soma behind her. Finally, she leaps down. Anna and the parasite Soma are successfully separated. Only she passed out from the pain. When she woke up again, she was in the medical room. And like her best friend Sophie, she was forced to take pills every day. But Anna secretly spits them out every time. In order to get Anna to accept Soma, the school had hired a psychiatrist. But no matter what the doctor asked, Anna was always silent. He had no choice. The doctor had to first gain her trust as a friend. Then she would talk to him. Anna saw that the doctor was not forcing herself like the others. So she confessed her feelings. <laughs> The doctor took Anna home. Anna was very excited. She hadn't been out of school for a long time. She asked the doctor to tell her a story. But the doctor didn't talk for long. Anna fell into a deep sleep. The doctor didn't want to disturb the girl's rare peace of mind. So he carefully tucked Anna in. But just then, the headmaster appeared behind her. He wanted to take Anna back to school. The operation would begin tomorrow. This time. Instead of putting Soma on the outside of Anna's skin, it's in her bone marrow. This way Anna will never be able to get rid of Soma. The doctor can't bear the thought. After all, Anna is still a child. But the headmistress was very firm. <laughs> Anna wakes up to the noise. She didn't know what it meant to be parasitized by Soma, but she knew that this time she was doomed. Anna was desperate. But what she didn't expect was that the person who operated on her was the same psychiatrist as before. He took off his shirt to Anna. It turned out that he too was a parasite of Soma. He knew exactly what Anna was going through when she lost her freedom. He understood Anna's desire to be free, so he couldn't under any circumstances. Let Anna follow his own path. He sneaks Anna into the cart when no one is around. The walk stops and stops. Although there were occasional mishaps, but they managed to sneak out. Outside was a friend who met them. Together they escaped the school of horrors in their car. As the doctor took Anna into the amusement park. Although the sky was drizzling, but Anna's heart was clear. Because she wanted to be free. And she was free too. She rode the merry-go-round like she was on the prairie. Laughing in the wind. Singing in freedom. Everything is so beautiful. 
Everything was so happy. Anna thought to herself that it would be better if it was all true. Anna woke up from her fantasy into the cold reality of the world. She hadn't been rescued and she hadn't gone to an amusement park. It was all just her fantasy. But who says everything in her dreams is fake? Anna was operated on by the same psychiatrist as before. I don't know what he said to Anna. And then turned. Anna's astonished gaze. The film ends. We don't know whether the doctor reveals the soma on his back or turned to fetch his scalpel. But we know that the quality of life is far more important than the length of life. The world is such a beautiful place. It's not how long you live that matters. It's how well you can live. Freedom without life is not freedom. A life without freedom is also not a life. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Recap Next.